Hello, I hope you're all well. Of course, we're in the middle of Mental Health Week, so I hope that you, mentally, are feeling good this week. Take some time out, take some time to relax. Make sure that each and every one of you takes some time for yourself. Tomorrow, our students are taking part in an Enrichment Day. We do have an Enrichment Week in the last term, but we thought it would be a good idea to bring some of these days forward so that we could get some off-screen time. They should know all about it, having been in tutor time today, so they should be planning their activities for tomorrow, and I hope everybody has a really good day tomorrow. I think the weather is going to improve as well. So, we still don't know when we will be returning to school. We have been promised a two-week notice period, but even when that happens, we won't know whether it will be everybody coming back, whether it will be a phased return with specific year groups, or whether there will be some sort of rota system with a week at home and a week in school. As soon as we do know, of course we will let you know. At the moment, myself and SLT are planning for all three eventualities. We are still planning also to participate in the mass testing programme. This is the part of the testing programme where we use lateral flow tests and we test students and staff to see if they have any asymptomatic COVID symptoms. This means that the students, when they come back to school eventually, will be tested twice with a three-day gap in between. We have written to you and asked you whether you would like your son and daughter to participate in this because it is not a condition of coming back to school and when we get closer to the time we will send you a very specific consent letter. Which brings me on to volunteers. This will be quite a big programme and some of you parents have kindly already volunteered to help us with the mass testing. Uh, we will be getting in contact with you now if you have already volunteered to talk about planning ahead. But if you haven't volunteered and you think you might be able to spare us some time, mostly it will be in the mornings, to help with the mass testing programme, please do drop us an email. Miss French will be um, collecting the emails and the email to send your information to will be in the body of this newsletter. A quick note about live learning. We are all accessing our lessons via Google Meets. You must, students, use your King's Academy Ringmer email to do this. If you try and go into a lesson, a Google Meet, with a personal email, we will not let you in, unfortunately. This is for safeguarding purposes because some emails are completely unrecognisable. So if you join a class, please make sure you do it with your King's Academy Ringma account. Can you also make sure, please, that you are joining the right lessons? We've had a couple of students this week popping into classrooms uninvited, shall I say? Much as we would welcome you in, you really should be in your own lessons and not other people's. And now a notice for all current eco reps and budding eco reps. You may well remember that Mr Green, our illustrious eco coordinator, retired at Christmas, but he has been replaced by Miss Pillar, one of our humanities teachers, who is going to be our eco coordinator, and Miss Holmes, one of our TAs, who is going to be our eco project manager. They would like to call their first formal eco meeting. So if you are a current eco rep or a budding eco rep, you will need to email them by Monday the 8th of February to express your interest in joining the meeting. So you simply email ringma.eco at kingsacademies.uk to express your interest in joining the meeting and they will contact you with details on how to join the meet. Let's get going again with this eco because Mr Green has left us such a legacy we have to make sure that we carry on and do great things in his honour. And don't forget you eco reps and others of course that there are some enrichment activities tomorrow that you can join in with all focused around eco and you can follow us as well on, forgive me if I read, Instagram at ringma underscore eco underscore hub and join our Facebook page as well. So there's loads of eco communications going on, do get involved. If you follow us on Facebook, you may have seen the first of our music videos. Miss Urquhart kindly introduced us to her style of music 
and asks us all to follow her and the other videos which she is going to be pr presenting to us over the next few weeks. It's an opportunity for us all, musicians or otherwise, to find out about all different types of genres of music and I've been promised some actual celebrities, hopefully, who will be joining us to talk about their favourite pieces of music and share them with you. I was absolutely astonished by the piece of music that Ms Urquhart shared this week from West Side Story, so if you haven't had a chance to look at it, do. It's amazing, and keep a lookout in the future for more fantastic music. So we've covered our eco-reps, we've covered our musicians, and now I'm reaching out to you people who read. Did you know that Lewis Library has an online audiobook application? So if you're part of Lewis Library, you can get audiobooks online. Something for us all to do to enjoy those novels and even those reference books that we really enjoy. And now our safeguarding focus. This week, I send our offering opportunities for parents and carers to get the access to educational psychologists. We all know that this has been a tough time, but there are some very specific needs out there. So in the body of this newsletter is a chance for you to access that help if you really need it. So please do look at what I send are offering us free of charge at the moment. In addition, we also have a toolkit on how to talk to teenagers about domestic abuse and sexual violence. Not something we want to think about, but obviously, relevant to some people, so it's there if you need it. Finally, I'm going to end on a cheery note, uh, you will see a lovely photograph attached to this newsletter of the Jackson family enjoying the hamper which they won at Christmas in our Christmas quiz. So sending out our congratulations to the Jackson family for winning that quiz. Well done. <laughs>